Welcome everyone. I'm excited to announce that today we will be tackling one of the uh, ever terrifying features of uh, Central Premiere, the one-to-many feature. Uh, probably the most powerful facet of Central, one-to-many allows for advanced scripting and deployment capabilities that enable you to perform mass functions across your entire organization. Uh, additionally, tasks performed via one-to-many can be tied to computer alert packages, which in turn will use the alert to trigger the task to execute an affected machine. Uh, for more information on this capability, known as a self-healing alert, please be sure to watch the video titled Alerts. The one-to-many feature consists of two parts which work together to accomplish an action, the first being tasks and the second being plans. I like to think of a task as the what. It's the part of one-to-many that specifies what we're going to be doing, from running commands, scripts, or batch files, to executing MSI or EXE installs, to changing registry settings. Plans, on the other hand, is the who and the when. Which computers are we performing these actions on, and how frequently are we performing them? Together, a task is attached to a plan so that LogMeIn can execute the action and report as granularly as possible. To begin, let's navigate to one to many on the left-hand menu and select Tasks. Immediately, we are brought to any tasks that have been configured in our account, along with the ability to run them directly. If you don't see any tasks listed here, it simply means none have been created within your account. We can create our first task by clicking Create Task at the top of the page. There are a total of six different task types we can configure to run on Windows machines, and one designated for Macs. Our default selected task, Execute a Remote Command, populates in the Choose Options box, where we can configure the task. All tasks will require a name, which I recommend making as specific as possible, as well as the ability to save notes for any other users who may be working with the task moving forward. In this video, we will be using the command task. For an in-depth dive into other task types, please see the video One to Many, The Six Tasks. We can enter our Windows command to execute, along with any additional parameters we would normally enter in a command prompt. However, it is important to note that all task executions, regardless of the task type, must be silent with no user interaction. For today's demonstration, let's say we want to mass reboot computers on our account. We also want to make sure that we set a timer for 20 minutes to allow any end users to save their work and provide an explanation for why we're performing the reboot. We can accomplish all of this with a simple shutdown command and a few parameters. With our command specified, we're going to click Save and Continue so we can assign or create a plan for how our reboot command is going to run. I don't have a specific plan specified for this task, so I will select Create a New Plan and click OK. We're brought directly to the Edit Plan screen where we will set down the When in the Properties box at the top and the Who in the Computer list at the bottom. We'll start by naming our plan. Again, using as specific a nomenclature as we can. 20-minute reboot custom message will suffice for our needs. The task I created in the previous screen is immediately populated in the task to run box. If I was returning to edit the plan alone, I could select a different task to run, but as I'm creating this plan specifically for this task, I'll keep this selected. Now I can choose when the task will run. By default, Run Plan Now is selected. However, I can schedule this plan to run at a later time or on a recurring basis by navigating through the dropdowns. If you're setting a particular time to run, take note of the time zone listed to the right, which pulls from the time zone set within the account. 
I also have some additional plan options, such as including notes for other users, opting to wake computers if Wake on LAN is configured, or sending emails when the plan completes. I can also set the threshold for the plan execution as it relates to offline computers, the attempt to connect to computers option, or computers that are unresponsive, the task timeout option. I will keep the default settings, but these values can range anywhere from 1 minute to 99 days. I'm going to execute this command on two of my Boston computers, so I will select them here and click Save and Continue. I have arrived at the final screen of configuration. As with any computer I wish to remote control, I will need to provide the computer credentials to ensure the tasks run successfully. However, unlike remote control sessions, I must use admin credentials for the plan to execute properly. one to many runs the plan not as a user or as an admin, but as a local system service itself. This prevents prompts like user access control from popping up during the execution and ultimately ending the process prematurely. I will add my computer credentials, which happen to be the same for both computers, select them, and click Apply. You'll notice that I selected both Verify Credentials and Save Credentials for Future Use prior to application. Here, you can see Log Me In, check the host computers, and see that the credentials I have entered are accurate, as well as retain those credentials so I don't need to enter them each time I run this plan. Satisfied with my entry, I click Run Now and the plan will run. I have split the screen to show the execution on both the client computer, to the left, and the host computer, to the right. I can track the progress of my plan execution from the central dashboard and see any relevant details, like start and end time, the task being run, or any additional options and successes or failures. Once the task finishes executing, I can download all or individual logs or return to the screen at any time by clicking on the History on the left-hand menu. As you can see on the host computer, our command executed successfully. A reboot has been scheduled in 20 minutes, with the text explanation appearing directly on the screen of both machines. Here, it's found in the bottom right-hand corner. For more information related to one to many or any other facets of Central, please subscribe to the channel for the latest demo videos. Thanks for watching, and happy scripting.